Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to show you how to use Google Forms to create a survey or some kind of form for your customers. Uh, it's really simple um, and uh, let, let's just jump into it. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to google.com slash forms and actually go into the forms. Okay, so when you start uh, you can actually create either a new form or you can use some kind of templates that they have uh, here on the top. Um, in our case, let's actually use a, uh, a blank one, okay? So first thing you want to do is actually title the form. Let's just call it uh, Survey on uh, Existing Customers, okay? And then I can add a description. Um, so for existing customers only, thanks for helping, okay? Um, and now what you're going to do is uh, automatically it's going to save your form into Google Drive. So I'm actually going to name it right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so before we actually get into the specifics, you can do a few small things right here so on the top. Uh, number one is you can actually change the color palette. Okay, so let's do something a little more colorful. And you can also select from templates right here. Okay, um, and you can upload your own photos for a nice banner at the top. And you can actually work and play around with it. Let's actually try this one. Okay. Okay, so take a few seconds to load. Okay, perfect. So now that I have the, the, the template that I want to use, let's actually create the, the actual uh, questions, okay? So what you're going to do is click on the first question and you're going to use this section on the right-hand side to upload images, change text, and also upload the types of a, a questions or additional questions, okay? So let's actually start with the first question and let's call it... Um, what do you think about our business? Okay, now um, when you go to the right of the question, you'll be able to select the different type of answers you want to receive. So a short answer lets your customer actually type in things. Um, a long answer is type in things with more space, multiple choice. Um, actually, so let, let's actually go into a, a show a few examples. Okay, so the first question right here is, "What do you think about our business?" Short answer. Okay, if I click on the preview right here, I'm going to get a uh, larger window, and I can actually see what the customer sees on this form. Okay, so uh, liked your business. Okay, perfect. So now let's go and add a another question, and of course you can have a required or not. Okay, so right here. Uh, this is the duplicate button. This is the, the delete this question. Okay, perfect. So let's add another question right here. Um, question number two. And let's actually select a paragraph and then a can you provide more detail? Okay. And let's actually preview this. Okay, and you can see, let's close this. Okay, that there's actually more space for more answer right here. Okay, perfect. So, uh, next one. Let's add another question right here. And another thing you can actually do is that you can actually move the questions up and down if you want to change the order of them. Okay, let's actually drag it. Okay. Number three, let's actually have multiple choice. And we'll do this. Um, did you like it? Okay. Option one is yes. Click here to add another option no and other okay perfect um, and let's add another question and you can get on and on and on and on okay so let's actually go over a few of the options instead of creating a question for each one okay so uh, check boxes pretty simple are just allow the customer to select one or multiple check boxes okay okay a radio button will be able to select only one option for the customer and a checkbox will actually enable the customer to select from more than one. Okay, um, let's create another question. And uh, so checkbox is drop down. So drop down is uh, fairly similar to a radio button, which they can only select one, but it'll actually look inside a drop down. So drop down example. Okay, so option one, option two, option three. Let's have a preview right here so you can see a few examples. Okay. These are the checkboxes, and this is the drop down. Okay, perfect. Okay, now um, let's actually use the, this button right here to change the text a little bit. Okay, so text change. 
okay and I can add another description okay so new description right here okay perfect now um, I want to do one more thing which is pretty common which is adding another section okay so what that basically means is you can have a, a new section that the customer sometimes you have a lot of questions and you don't want too much scrolling for example for the customer to actually fill out the questions and feel tired so you can separate them into multiple pages okay so what you can basically do is click here on add a new section and after the customer finishes section one which is above then you can decide to go to section three section one section two so you can actually have um, different ways to lead up to the next questions okay so let's click on next section and this is section two almost finished with survey okay perfect let's add another question and let's add uh, let's say a date and time okay so you can explore all the rest of the uh, options right here um, it's pretty simple and I'll show you an example on another a template form that Google Forms did okay so once I finished I'm gonna actually click on preview and note again that uh, every time because th this saves to Google Drive every time you make something it'll automatically save so you don't really need to save it okay so now I'm I, going as a customer and I'm just going to fill up all the, the information what do you think about business liked it can you know do you like it yes let's click on a few options click on next now I go to section 2 as you remember and I'm going to actually select a date and click on submit okay so now once the customers actually start submitting it you'll have a response tab right here which you'll be able to see first of all the summary of all of the data based on every single question of what people filled out okay and if you want to view the individual ones you'll be able to actually see one by one and if a lot of people filled out the form or the survey you'll be able to click right here on the next 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 and next okay perfect now if you want to also uh, disable the form you received enough entries you can also always disable it right there okay perfect so um, the last thing remaining is to actually once you finish and you tested it the form or your survey you actually want to send it to your customers so when you click on the send button you can actually um, send it to a specific email right here by clicking um, you can add collaborators and you can also embed it in your website for example you just copy this code into your website you can uh, put a link for example um, and then just email all of your customers by links ask them to visit this link or click on this button etc or you can specifically email it to one or, or multiple uh, emails um, and so that's basically it for the form you can play around with it. it's very very easy and I just wanted to show you one more thing which is an example of a few of the other questions so let's actually go to event feedback and here you actually have some additional things okay for example let's show here and let's show this okay so here's an example of a scale right here which they use the linear scale and the other example which is this multi a multi scale okay is right here so it's basically called multiple grid multiple choice grid okay and that's it so if you have any questions let me know I uh, hope you like this video thank you